Hi, this is Bob Pellerin, CTO Bob, and today I'll be opening up something that's been requested over and over again, a Lenovo, an E15, following our E14 video that was very popular. Please help us out, give us a thumbs up if you enjoy this video, and I'd ask you, if you want to encourage us, subscribe. And if you go below in the comments and put, I subscribed, I will answer you. If you have any questions, comments, put them there as well. I'll be sure to look at them. So let's go ahead and open this box. As you can tell, as most Lenovo products are, it's pretty small and well packaged. Let's go ahead and open it. So this is a 15.6 inch laptop. It is Intel powered. So the first thing you'll notice is the wire. I'm just gonna pull out the accessories here first. So you can, and there is a, let's see if it's written on there. It's usually written, it's a 65 watt adapter. So that seems to be pretty much what there is. The rest is in foam. So we've got the good old foam that will protect the unit well during transportation. That was great for the environment. We also have a little bit of documentation, like most Lenovo products, it's really too minimum. There's really not there, um, there's nothing there that can really help you set it up and so forth. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. So let's go ahead and open it up. Now this is brand new. This is an 11th generation Intel CPU in here. So this feature is an i7, it's an 11, 65 G7 processor, so it's the latest 11th generation. It gives us 2.8 gigahertz and it's a four core. So with that madness, let's take a quick look. It is all black. I really like the little Lenovo branding there and the ThinkPad here. And there's not much in front. Let's go ahead and actually before we do that, let's take a quick look at the sides. You've got a more traditional network port here. So if you want to plug it to a cable to get ethernet, uh, gigabit ethernet. And you've got USB on here. And on the other side, what we've got is the USB-C, USB, HDMI, and a headphone jack. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at the back. Uh, the back is uh, plastic and it does feature some speakers here on top and the rest is for ventilation. Now this particular unit, when you order these, so I'm gonna repeat this over and over again, but when you order them, different SKUs had different sizes. So this particular unit, for example, has 512 uh, gigs of SSD space, it's NVMe, it's a drive, and 16 gigs of memory. And when you order one, you may be able to find some with less memory, with more memory. Uh, so you really have to look at what you're purchasing. Don't just uh, take it for granted because I said that this is an E15, they all come the same. They are not all the same. So let's take a look at the inside. So as most of the Lenovo's, you'll find the keyboard is very soft. I love these keyboards, I do a lot of writing. I think it's one of the better keyboards. What's nice about this one here is you'll notice it has a number pad on there. So for those who do a lot of accounting or those who do a lot of uh, math related things, this is really great. It's a full size keyboard with uh, the whole uh, numbers on the side there. So you've got a fingerprint reader here and you'll find, so it's the regular trackpad. Um, as per the legacy IBM products, they also have the little uh, joystick in the middle that you can move the mouse with around. As some love that. If you don't like it, you can ignore it and use the trackpad on the bottom. So on this unit, you'll find the standard camera for webcamming and for zooming and so forth, which is a 720p. And the Wi-Fi built into this particular unit is an 802.11ac. So this is a Wi-Fi 5, if you want to call it that. And uh, it's relatively light. So again, the, uh, the top appears to be metal and the bottom appears to be plastic. Uh, these generally age very well. That's what I like about the Lenovo's, like their predecessors, the IBM's. They're quite sturdy in general and uh, should last you a long time. So the screen, the 15.6 inch, 
uh, features a 1920 by 1080 resolution. Okay, one thing that I forgot to mention earlier is that this is a touch screen, so you'll be able to uh, click on things simply using the screen. It's a great feature. The screen's very good. It doesn't reflect too much light, so it uh, should work well in well-lit environments and in, should obviously work very well in darker environments as well. The benchmark, as you can tell here, uh, this is the CPU is fairly good, giving you a base of 2.8 gigahertz, and it turbos to 4.2, so that part's great. Uh, you've got things like the uh, Intel Iris XE built into it, so that gives you a bit more oomph from a, a GPU point of view. It's not as good as having a real dedicated GPU such as an NVIDIA or an AMD product, but this is certainly uh, an added bonus to the older uh, GPU built into the CPU itself. So the other thing is it's using a Samsung 512 gig SSD drive in there. Again, it's an NVMe. So the read writes are uh, somewhat acceptable for this range. Uh, if you look here, we're looking at sequential, we're looking at about uh, 1043. And if you're looking at the writes, that was for the read and the writes are 947. So again, it's faster than the typical older SSD drives. So I'll take that. And there's also here, uh, the memory is a Micron memory. The result of this uh, user benchmark is basically showing that it is uh, close to a desktop speed and that's what you want in something that you can take with you. For those of you who are going to question me as to whether or not this is great for gaming, it's not a gaming laptop, it's not specifically designed for it. Some people ask me questions like they want to play solitaire and other things. Those are not the types of games that we would refer to when we talk about a gaming laptop. So if you're going to be on Facebook playing games or you're going to be at an online uh, you know, card game and so forth, those are not typically highly um, processor intensive and so you don't need necessarily a GPU. So this thing will be great for web browsing, office applications, using normal applications in light gaming. So if you're going to go into the heavy duty games then you probably want to get a desktop with a real GPU. And so this is a, a well designed, easy to carry and overall good workhorse for you. So if you're on the road, or you're planning to be on the road, or you like to uh, move uh, quite a lot, bring it home and so forth, it's perfect as an addition. I'm Bob Pellerin. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you liked it. Leave us some comments below, and you can also visit us at www.ctobob.com.